Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a first impression on the Pro Contour Designer Brand Palette. So, I only have my foundation on Set It With Powder and I'm just going to use this new Pro Contour Palette from Designer Brand and hopefully it goes well. Alright, so this is retailed for $16.99 or $17.99 I believe. They were very affordable and apparently it's equivalent or the same to Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D if you guys own one of those. I can't really compare it at this stage because I actually don't have that palette at the moment but I will eventually when I get that so I can compare that for you. Alright, packaging wise I'm going to say it's very sleek. Um, it's made with cardboard, but it's like sturdy cardboard, so it's magnetic, so it sort of secures the closure of it. So, and it does contain a large mirror, so oh, it's actually a good size for it. And this is what the palette looks like. You have your highlight shade and your contour shade. Just a basic. Just want to make sure. Um, I just want to do a review on it so you guys understand um, if I like it or not. This is what it looks like. As you can see, you've got your highlight shade at the top and your contour shade on the bottom. And this is your sort of highlight shade that you use for highlighting on your the highest part of your cheekbones. And then this one, it's a yellow base. You would use that as a setting powder underneath your eyes. And that's more a peachy sort of color. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I'd probably use that as a blusher. But yeah, that's probably the only thing I can use that for. And this is your contour. I would use that as a bronzer. It does have a reddish undertone to it. That has is a lighter shade and that's a more grey tone. So I'd probably use that more of a contour shade, bronzer shade and that's probably mixed with something with one of these or something like that. So I'm going to try that and see how it goes. So first I'm going to use the yellow shade to sit underneath my eyes. I'll be using a small brush. Alright, so just tapping that there, it does it, it does look slightly powdery, but I suppose that's okay. It's not very excessive, but it's there. I don't know if it's doing anything. It slightly is doing some highlighting but it's not like excessive it's very light i have used a laura mercier um sitting powder underneath my eyes so i'm just using this to highlight this area even more so it just pops out i'm hoping you can see that but it does slightly give a sort of highlight look it looks quite nice all right so the highlight shade is actually not so bad not so bad at all. It's very... I'm just going to have a feel. It's velvety smooth. It's not the softest, but you can definitely feel how soft it is. It's sort of like a thick, smooth sort of sensation, if that makes any sense. It's quite powdery though, so... I mean... It's quite powdery, so you need to be very careful with that. Now I'm going to try the, the bronzer. So I'm going to use a stippling brush and I'm going to use the shade right in the middle. So I'm just going to take a little bit there. Right, wish me luck. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. That's actually a nice colour. It's actually nice and soft and blendable from what I can see so far. Can you guys see that? That's actually a really good consistency. Oh. I'm impressed. That shade is actually a perfect shade for my skin tone. That's actually really pretty. It's very blendable. It's not as powdery as the highlight shade in the middle, so it's quite nice. I'm just going to have a feel of it. 
it has the same feel to it but I'm actually quite impressed Ooh. I hope you can see that guys that's actually a very very nice um, bronzer shade cool I'm going to use this brush to contour my to contour my face you can also use like an angle brush to contour this shade here but for today I'm, I'm going to use this today and I think I'm going to use the shade here that has a more gray undertone to it so it's a lot more suitable for contouring so hopefully this works well because I really like the look of this as you can see it is quite powdery but I think that's just normal with um, powders like this but it's okay all right Oh my goodness can you just see that I think okay I'm in love oh my goodness can you just see that contour oh my goodness guys that is absolutely amazing oh Okay, this is honestly amazing. It doesn't look like muddy or anything, it's actually quite a nice um, contour shade and I'm actually obsessed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first impression, bronzer, highlight, and the contour shade, amazing. Um, I'm quite impressed. Look how intense my contour shade look. I hope it's not washing it out or making it look really bad on camera. But in person, it actually looks really good. It blends so nicely and it doesn't, it doesn't separate or anything like that. So it's quite nice. Now I'm going to apply the highlight shade, which is going to be that there. I'm just going to apply that on the top of my cheekbones. I just want to see how this goes. Okay, so. The highlight shade is okay. It's not like the best. It's very subtle. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I think you can sort of see it. Oh, it's very subtle. Actually, I don't mind the highlight so much. I'm gonna put that right onto my toe. Okay, so this product is um it can be it's quite powdery and that you can get definitely a lot of fallouts from it but i just want to say like can you see that it's not so pigmented but you can definitely build up the color i'm really impressed with this palette so out of all the ones i have used i actually really like all of them the highlight shade that I use under my eyes, it slightly did give a highlight shade. Um, it's very subtle, so I'm actually fine with that. Uh, it's actually nice and soft. Like, it feels really nice. And then the contour shade is, it's like, it's beautiful. The banana shade, the highlight shade, the contour and the bronzer is actually beautiful. I mean, it is my first impression, and for a first impression, that's very impressive. <laughs> so, 
I actually really like this palette. Cons about this palette, it, does, it is powdery, so it means that you sort of have to be very careful when you dab your brush on it because it will go, get all over the place. Um, another cons about this palette is that um, at the moment you can only get it online, I believe. I don't know if it's out, out in the store just yet, but... I'm pretty sure you can only get it online. I could be wrong by the time you see this video. They're probably out now, but I got mine online. It can get a little bit dirty, like, I don't know. But it seems like you can easily clean it, but um, it's okay. I mean, I can deal with that. Just be very, very careful, and it can be scratched very quickly. Um, I don't know if you can see mine, but I have some scratches on it just from using it today. Pros about this palette, it's very sleek, it's affordable, it's very inexpensive. The packaging itself is very sleek. It does have a tiny wee magnet closure to it, so when you close it, it does close. It doesn't just shut open easily, but you can definitely feel the magnet um, when you close it. It does contain a mirror inside their palette, so it's a good size, so you can definitely use it in... It's so good when you travel out and you only need to bring this palette and you don't have to bring a spare mirror because it does come with a mirror. This palette comes with six shades and you actually get three, um, the highlight shades and contour shades on the top. The product is very blendable. Um, I had no issues with it. Uh, it's not like pack on color and then it's hard to blend. These are actually really easy to blend. Um, you can layer it till you get the darkness that you want. I, feel, I believe that you can actually use it as a blush. I haven't used it as a blush. I might only use it as a blush to see if it can work. Oh. I think it does work as a blush. Very light and it does have a little bit of sheen to it to so give it a little bit more highlight. Oh. But from today's first impression, I am really impressed. I do highly suggest you really, really, really need to try this to see why I actually like it today. Pretty much all I can say about this palette, I really do like it and I uh, highly recommend it for anyone that's want to try new product. So yes, that's, that's all I can say for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and let me know if you are going to try the palette and if you have, let me know if you like it or you love it or if you actually, if you find something that you don't like about it because I will definitely keep trying this for a few weeks to see if I like it and yes, until next time I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! it will be one of those products that is very affordable it's not going to be the best product